Bionanogenomics, technical analysis, fundamental statistics, along with reviewing my current positions and the price targets, starting off the price action. Stocks only go up. My friends, they do not only go up. And I have to address this really quickly. Skip to the part that I'm going to put it edit on screen. And skip to that part if you want to avoid this rant, okay? Brace yourself, man, if you're going to stay with me. Or you know what you're getting yourself into when you click on this channel. I have not been claiming Bionanogenomics is going to moon. In the last couple of days, I'm going to put a card in the top right, right now, proving my claims. I've been saying the load up level is $6.50 up to $7.01. What did I do today? I did just that. Okay. We could we could dip below that. And if we dip below 650 and confirm the breakdown below 650, be wary of obliteration and carnage like you've never seen before. But for those of you who are panic selling right now, I find your lack of faith disturbing. That was totally a Darth Vader reference. Yes, I am that kind of a nerd. Panic selling right now is a bad idea for a couple reasons. And hating on the channel is fine. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna censor you. I'm not gonna review you. I'm gonna listen to what you say. Actually, I read all the comments that I can. Okay. But I don't think it would be wise to leave those type of comments saying Bionero is going to zero. You heard it here first. Not just like just like that dude with Bitcoin. You heard it here first. Bitcoin is going to zero. It didn't go to zero. And if and a lot of people panic sold Bitcoin when about that time, a couple of years ago. I don't even remember exactly when that video was. A lot of people panic sold. And a lot of people panic sold back here as well. Well, not even panic sold. Well, yeah, panic sold. A lot of people a lot of people FOMO'd in, sold here, missed out on it on a, almost three X there. Are you doing that right now? No one knows for sure. I'm not claiming to know. The company's fundamentals have only gotten better, and the company and the stock price has only gotten worse. We've got catalysts coming up. We've got insiders. We've got new Sapphire. We've got presentations. We've got pretty crazy news today as well. Uh, we've got, uh, what else do we got? We've got a ton of, we got a thousand things to look forward to, okay? Uh, revenue increase, lineage and increase in revenue continued. Uh, COVID recovery, boosting sales. CEO Eric, okay, uh, they're going to be picking up shares. They've got call options. They can buy any shares at 783. Do you understand that? For their top executives, they all have options, the right to buy shares at $7.83. We are below that right now. What does that tell you? What does that tell you? That tells you that we are extremely undervalued in the CEO's eyes. Who better to judge a stock price than the CEO? He thinks getting in at 783 is a fair value. That's what the price is at. They can only buy at 783 to my knowledge. We're at 6874 right now. I said yesterday, I'll put a card in the top right right now. If I remember. $6.50 to $7, right? I told you guys, that is the level to load up on. If you do it, be wary. We could, if we break six fifty dollars and confirm the break down below, who knows how low we are going? Who knows, man? Bitcoin is going to zero. Bionail is going to zero. I have to give you disclaimers. I know it's annoying, but I have to give them two things, okay? Let me actually, you know what? Let me go to the hourly chart real quick. This is the more important thing. We did hold above this level of rectangular support here, 671. We are currently getting a small bounce and looking, we are looking to get rejected a little bit. Uh, currently at this uh, purple level of support right here, or resistance now. Okay, let's turn the, I guess we can go ahead and turn these to red. You know what? I'm actually not going to turn these to red because I'm, like, I'm assuming, if I'm going to be honest with you guys, you guessed it. I'm bullish short term. I'm okay, guys. I'm always bullish short term. Do you know why I'm always bullish short term? Because of what I've said. Catalysts are imminent. We've had a thousand catalysts and we've had zero price reaction. What does this mean, though? Does the stock just suck? Are the catalysts not actually catalysts? Or are they just fake news? No, they are. They are legitimate, real, actual, big news that is worthy of a fifty percent jump. I would expect a bounce, a continued bounce. I've been saying this, okay? Nothing is new here. That's why I don't really want to, don't really need to say it, right? It's the same thing as the last couple of videos. If we do break below these levels, though, and if, if we get a sideways day tomorrow, that is a little bit bearish. I'm going to be honest with you. When we bounce, when we hit this level today, I'm going to be honest with you. I loaded the bow. I added 54 shares. I added at 701, and I added at 673. I added 54 shares in total. I was expecting a little bit of something like this you know, a bounce up, maybe a confirmation of this support, at least maybe a confirmation of this support. We got nothing. We are going sideways. And we just recently got a very small bounce in the after hours. And guess what, guys? After hours means barely anything, barely anything. We also got high volume today, right? We're beating every other stock I have. That does not take we have one except Zoom, right? Zoom. Now I just got in on Zoom. So that doesn't really count. We got volume confirmed to breakdown, several levels we broke down from. But I'm still bullish because as long as we hold the 670s, especially, we've got the weekly middle bullish band. We've got 
We've got the exponential moving average on several time frames. We've got moving average on several time frames. We've got the stop and reverse indicator. That's what that means. These random <laughs> lines here, okay, they look pretty random and pretty stupid. I'm not going to lie. But they are actually very cool, very, very useful, very indicative of future price action. But of course, not necessarily indicative. We also have the super trend indicator that is looking horrible right now on the hourly. If we look on the daily, it's not looking good either. If we look on the weekly, it is not looking too bad, though. It is at 673. This is just one of many indicators. It's 38 on the RSI on the daily. That is a significant move down. And if we look at the four-hourly, this is a little more interesting. We're looking at 35, very oversold. And if we look at the hourly especially, okay, it just... Okay, when I when I was getting ready, when I was preparing for this video, it was like, you know, it was in the golden. And now, of course, we pushed a little bit. And now it's back. But still, we are still at 34. We are still very oversold, close, much closer to being oversold and overbought. Of course, this doesn't go to zero. This get the lesson. Of course, of course. Okay, blah, 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 yada, yada. This is a great buy right now. And six fifty, six dollars and fifty cents, up to seven dollars and one cent, anywhere in that range. I think it is a steal long term. My average is eight dollars and thirty cents, thirty nine cents. I'm not selling anytime soon. BioNano announces record number of presentations on optical genome mapping and structural variation at the 2021 annual clinical genetics meeting of the blah blah yada yada yada. Is this the same thing that we've been hearing for like the past seven years? And literally, we get presentations, cool publica publication, structural variations found at higher detection rate. Great. That's amazing. Stock goes down, right? Literally, we get catalysts and it goes down 10%, right? <laughs> this is what happens uh, in the recent past. But back in the good old days, let me tell you something, guys. I'm not calling that we are going to... I don't have insider information, okay? I wish I did have insider information. I wish I did. And even if I did, I would not be able to say it. Um, but... Bio Nano, uh, they do have presentations and similar things in the past like this that have pushed the stock price hundreds of percentages. Let me tell you guys, I believe, I could be wrong on this, my memory could be wrong, but I am pretty sure, I'm 99% sure that this little stretch right here, this was when the five-day symposium was. If you remember, if you're an OG BNGO person and got in all the way back here, okay, I got in back here, but then I sold and I bought back higher and I made profits and then I kept and now I'm holding the bag, right? But either way, if you are one of the, if you are one of the people from the old days, you remember when catalyst meant something. Because the stock price is going down so much and because the insider transactions, their call options, CEOs call options, this is just one idea. There's a thousand ideas I have. I don't want to rant too long, but because their call options are at an exercise price of 783, they can buy for the next 10 years, right? They can buy 775,000 and uh, the other three is 275,000 shares at the price of $7.83 only, to my knowledge. Why would they do that if they th if they thought the price is going to be going down? Of course, it's going down short term because of retail investors being retards, I think, and being weenie babies. Bionana did not expect the price action dropping below this. And guess what? Because we have several presentations up, they might just say this is the time to drop something big. They might be going, they might, they might do the same thing they always do. And if they do the same thing they always do, <laughs> it will be really funny because this is all they do the whole time. Sapphire detects uh, higher structural variation rate than the orthodox thing, which is big news. Of course it is. I guarantee you there are going to be people at this thing. I guess it's virtual, but there are going to be, be people watching this wanting confirmation on BioNano Sapphire. Like the people in Africa, the, the doctors in Africa and the business in Africa, whatever the name was, like those people that adopted Sapphire, guess what? They were watching the presentations similar to this one in the past, right? The ones that have already been done. They were watching stuff like this, and that is what partly, probably uh, significantly, made them decide to invest and try the Sapphire system, not invest, right? Invest in the Sapphire system, I guess. That's what made them do that. Not Nothing else, right? I mean, I guess their website maybe, right? Talking to the CEO, right? But this is a big part in getting other people and other institutions in investing and, and actually getting them to adopt the Sapphire system. So this could be big. Take a look at the Twitter. Lengen blog post, okay. I want to give you a lot of people already know this, but I just want to give you this, guys. Okay, go check out Lion Lionagen's website is actually pretty cool. And genetic genetic testing here. Remember, this is a bio nano genomics company, right? Lionagen was acquired by BioNano in August 2020, last year, right? They added one and a half million dollars of revenue. And if you want to see the revenue B and everything, I'll put a card in the top right now and if I don't forget. So May 9th, month out price target is ten dollars. I've ranted. I've ranted enough. Relevant information is done. Merch is almost done. It is shipped. It is almost here, man. It is almost here. It's almost here. And uh, yeah, this is not financial advice, guys. Anyways, thank y'all so much. I will see y'all in the next one.